Hey guys, guess what? It is that time of the year. It's Pokemon Day. That's right, I picked up my Pokemon, my version of Pokemon White, and believe me, I've been enjoying it so far. This is my first video in this series where I'm going to talk about my experiences playing through the new games, and whether or not going in with any sort of, uh, well, basically a lack of knowledge of what the Pokemon are, and how they evolve, and which ones are going to be great in the end, will uh, basically make my experience better. So far, I've definitely had that, uh, recaptured that magic of going through the world for the first time and being like, oh, what the hell is that? I know the first Pokemon I, that I saw when I stepped out into the grass with my starter was a Lillipop, and I was like, what the hell is that thing? I got my Pokedex here just to check the names, because it's still pretty new. Yeah, Lillipop. I was like, what the hell is that? I want to catch that thing. It, it, it's been pretty fun so far. Uh, initial impressions. First of all, spoilers. There will be, a uh, if you haven't gone into, the, if you haven't looked at the guides or anything, and you're going into the game like I have without any knowledge of what's going on, this will spoil things, some things for you. But first of all, I like it. The graphics are cool. It's definitely a more realized world. Pretty much every Pokemon game that comes out, it just makes it a more realistic world. Or, I don't know if realistic is the is the better word for it, but believable world. I like the trees, I like the 3D effects, I like the how the different cities so far each have a different feel to them. It's a, it's pretty nice. I like it. Um, I also like the fact that right out of the box it's like, here are your two friends, here's your Pokemon, pick one. There's no like, oh, your professor got stuck in something, and no, just right out of the bat, here's a Pokemon, go at it. And I'm only, uh, I'm only into the first, I'm only past the first gym badge at this point. And I've actually fought against my friends a couple different times, which I think is cool. I think I like that idea of going through the world with two uh, two friends and allies along your adventure. It's it's a fun idea. I think it's pretty cool. I mean, they sort of did that in the last game, but I've fought them a couple times so far, so it's pretty sweet. I've gotten to the first gym, which was a, a rather interesting one. I had heard something about it where that uh, basically whichever starter you picked they picked a Pokemon that it was strong against, so I'm, I wasn't too sure how that would work. Luckily there's someone who gives you the Pokemon that is strong against the Pokemon they're using, which helps. And even though I had that Pokemon, it was still a little tricky because it kind of gets you in a point where there's not too many great places to train at that point. I had some difficulty with the battle, but I did stick it out and I didn't win it. Luckily I was I was afraid I was going to have to report to you guys that I failed my first gym battle, but I got it. Of the Pokemon I've captured so far, I think I've captured everything I've seen, and uh, we're just it's just turning into, the sun's setting now, it's just turning into night, so I think a new Pokemon popped up. But I started off with a Snivy, which I like so far. Um, I had heard that its speed was its greatest stat, and so far that's true. I still like it, though at some point it's going to need to power itself up, or it's going to get left behind, in my opinion. I'm still going to use it. I'm sure it'll get better in the long run. There's Pat Rat, this little uh, rat beaver rodent thing. I have the feeling that this one might get left behind eventually. I have it and Lillipup, and both are normal, though I have a feeling Lillipup's going to evolve into something else, because uh, honestly I think it might evolve into a grass thing. I don't know, it's just me ex it's just me expecting it to, but if I look at my Pokedex, I know that Pat Rat only has one evolution, and it looks like Lillipup might have two, so I'm thinking Lillipup will be a better long-term investment. And I kind of like Lillipup as it is. It's, it's pretty easy to train with. It's got some pretty good attack. I do like the fact that it has bite, so it might work out pretty well. I also have Purloin, the purple cat Pokemon, which it's actually dark, so that was kind of interesting, but I don't know if I'm a big fan of it. It hasn't learned Bite yet. Its attacks aren't all that great. I actually taught it Cut just to give it something to attack with because Scratch wasn't really doing it, but I don't know what to think about that one yet. I also have Pan Poor because I started with Snivy. I got Pan Poor from that random guy that was like, here's a Pokemon. Okay. It's a water Pokemon. I just got it. Not much to report about it yet. It helped me out with the gym. I also have Mona, which seems to be a Dream Eater Pokemon, a Psychic Pokemon, and it, uh, it has some similarities, I think, with some other early Psychic Pokemon in other games. It's got some uh, abilities that have something to do with it. I also just, like, just now before I made this video, caught an Adino, which I had never seen before until I got to the Dream Yard, but it looks like it was all over the place, so maybe it's something that just comes out at night, but that's what I've seen so far. It's a fun game. 
I do like the uh, the bad guys have an interesting plot line. They're definitely mysterious, and I'm definitely curious where the Pokemon trainer N is going to go. I think he, I have a feeling like he was the guy in the opening cinematic that got like the crown or whatever. I'm pretty sure he's going to be the bad guy. But it's basically Pokemon PETA. And honestly, it's they're addressing, the bad guys basically have an argument that people have used against the Pokemon series since the beginning. So that's an interesting development. Bravo, Game Freak, for, uh, for using that as part of the bad guy's motivation. So not much else to say right now, but that's what's going on. I'm going to stop this video, and I'm going to play some more Pokemon. We'll see you next time.